my lovely music friends and welcome to The Musician in the Attic. This video today is going to cover the essentials for a practice room or practice area and this is for any type of musician, singer, guitarist, pianist, woodwindist, whatever. The first essential for any musician is a practice area or practice room. This place I picked is just a small little nook in my attic and I find it to be very useful and peaceful for practicing. Make sure this place is a quiet place. The next essential are lights, or a light. You're gonna need a light to be able to see so you can read your music. I'm kinda struggling right now, but I got it. Almost. There we go, now we have light. The next essential is a notebook or a journal. You could use just a regular notebook or a little journal. I used to use this journal, but now I use a journal on my phone. Have the essentials for your instrument, like these reeds that I have for my clarinet. They're all organized too. Also, you're gonna need pens and pencils. Most just use pencils, but I like to use a colored pen in my copied music because it's all black and white. Also, a metronome or a tuner. This has a metronome and tuner in it, although I don't have batteries in it, so oopsies. Also, to point out, a metronome keeps time, a tuner, well, tunes sound. I also have tools for my instrument, and in case I need to fix any loose screws or just the things you need to fix your instrument if there's a little break. The next essential is water, to keep yourself hydrated, awake, and for other uses as well. I also like to use mine to wet reeds. Don't worry, this is clean water. The next essential is a stand so you can read your music. Mine is portable and also very sturdy. I also have a stand for my instruments, one for my keyboard, one for my clarinet, you can ask me where I got it, just comment below. And also, if I'm, you know, singing or practicing my voice, I wear tennis shoes. That's my stand for myself. I also use a clock. My clock is broken. I just found that out today. I'm very sad. I would also recommend a timer. You don't really need a timer, but if your clock breaks, it's pretty nice. I would also recommend if you live in an apartment or something like that to have headphones so people won't get disturbed. And that, my friends, will make up the essentials that you need for your practice room. If you have any questions, please comment below, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you really like this video and want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.